This is an Icon Ministry production with the support of our ministry partners and donors. Faith. Faith is a gift. Not everybody has it. The fact that you're here listening, I bet you have this wonderful gift of faith given to you by your family, given to you by the church, given to you by your commitment to prayer. Faith grows. You grow as a human being. But what if I told you that you can grow as a human being? You can be 20 years old, 30, 40, 50 years old. But if you don't invest in your faith, you're actually going to stay as old as you invested. For example, there are 40 year olds here who have faith of a 10 year old because the last time they picked up their Bible was preparing for their confirmation. There are 80 year olds who have the faith of a 20 year old, enthusiastic, yes, passionate, but they haven't allowed God to enter into their suffering. They put faith into where they turn to God and go to mass, but they haven't allowed the faith aspect to come into their suffering, to their life and through their difficulties. See, the book of James talks about faith, faith being the roots of a tree. But the roots of a tree are not the only thing that make up the tree. There are the fruit of the tree. That is the work of faith. Allowing God to enter and allowing our faith to enter every aspect of our life. We tend to compartmentalize and say, God, you're allowed to enter into these places when I'm at mass, when I'm praying, even when I'm with my families. But when I'm out with my friends, I don't want them to know about this. When I'm at work, I don't want to live out my faith. You see, this is where we stay in an immaturity of faith, in a place where our faith actually doesn't grow because it's stunted by the fact that we continue to grow, but we're limiting our faith. My question, my cry to you is to grow up. Grow up. We have a church of immature Christians, people who are mature, but they're immature in their faith because they're not ready to bring in the faith and their relationship with Jesus into aspects of suffering and pain in their questions and doubts. Where is God in those moments where you're upset and you're disillusioned? Are you upset and disillusioned and just pushing your faith aside because you're scared it won't be reconciled? Or do you spend time actually bringing your anger to Jesus, your frustration to Jesus, your doubt to God? Because you see, God wants to be involved in every part of your life. This is how we deepen the roots. But also, this is where the fruit grows. And it's difficult. It's really difficult. It's so easy to compartmentalize our faith because we say this, we're blissful when we're here, we're peaceful when we go to a church, and then we lose our peace when we go to work, and we're living in this compartmentalized life. But to follow Jesus is to pick up your cross, to bring him everywhere, that people would see your cross when you're at the gym, They would see your cross when you're at work. They will see your cross when you're in the church. When you're in hospital, the nurses, the doctors will see your cross. They see your faith. They see your love for Jesus. Let your faith shine, not for the sake of others only, but for you. Grow up. Allow the Lord to work in your life, in your heart, because we don't want to be old in body and our spirits still little and small. What a wasted opportunity. Be a saint. Grow up. Let your faith grow in Jesus' name. This production is only made possible because of the generous support of Icon Ministry partners and donors. Please go to iconministry.com forward slash support to make a donation.